Hey guys, Ruben here with your Daily Tech Needs, and uh, today I want to show you how to install a custom ROM for the Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 International and USA version. Um, I think it works on the USA version, I haven't tested it yet. But I ported this ROM over myself, um, it's the Liwa OS ROM. Um, and I've added loads of tweaks and a bunch of stuff, so I got rid of apps, added apps, etc. And improved everything about the ROM in my opinion. Uh, so I hope you like it, I'll put the form link in the description so you can go and download it, try it out yourself and uh, this is going to be how to install it. So first thing you're going to want to do is wipe your data and factory reset. This is just to get rid of it, uh, this is if you're coming from another ROM. Wipe catch partition and then wipe Delvic catch. Go back and we're going to then install the, the uh, zip from the SD card. So I can't see this here, but um chooses it from SD card and it's on my SD card. And I'm just gonna flash it here. And uh, this may take a couple of seconds. Uh, so a couple of features about this ROM, I'll be doing another video with a review of this ROM and a first look if you like. Uh, it's super fast and smooth, it's based off gingerbread 2.3.7, um Cyanogen mod 7. So it's really smooth and really nice and you get the camera working and that kind of stuff. Um, and in my opinion, you don't know it's gingerbread because uh, because the UI of it is modded that much. Like, you know, you can't tell it's gingerbread at all. Uh, so yeah, but at this stage this is you're done. Gaps is already, I've already put gaps on the zip file, so you don't need to flash gaps. Um, also, if you're a USA user, you probably need to flash your USA kernel. Um, after this, but again, I haven't tested it yet, and I haven't put it out there on the XDA forms yet, so I can't get any feedback as of yet. So it's going to reboot once you've installed it, and I'm going to speed this up because uh, your first boot takes a while because you've obviously wiped the Delvit catch. Um, you'll also get to see the personal customized boot animation. So yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're back, and that boot did take a fairly long time the first time it was well. well. This is the custom lock screen, and we're going to swipe down to unlock. I mean, that allow. And uh, this is your Google um, setup. We're just going to press finish setup here, and we're going to click on setup wizard. And then we're going to click on the Android, and we're going to press skip because we have no Wi Fi connection and it doesn't like to connect. Uh, you can change the time if you want. and then it comes up again and we're just going to press skip again and then when you press next here you'll get some force closers just force close that and uh, that's probably the only force close you're going to get on this ROM uh, so this is the ROM so it's back there. as you can see to enter your app drawer you just swipe up from the bottom um, I'm going to enable Wi-Fi here system settings, Wi-Fi, turn on what I normally do is press the home button for about wait for about 5 seconds you only need to do this the first time as far as I know when connecting to Wi-Fi. Uh, then go back to settings and it should have picked your network up. I have been getting some problems with Wi-Fi. Um, don't know what it is. But uh, as you can see Wi-Fi is on here. It's scanning to see if we can pick up our, our network. Just checking if the wireless is on here because we have just had a power cut. Yeah. Yeah, it's on, it should be picked up. You see, we get, we get some problems with it, but most of the time this method works. Um, Turn on the back light there. See if we can get it to focus a bit better. There we go. Uh, okay. So normally go back, wait a couple of seconds. And then go back in. It's still not there. Okay, so yeah, that's what I meant by intermittent Wi Fi. I had to reboot my phone there and uh, mess around, keep going into settings, keep turning the Wi Fi on. 
and eventually it worked. Once I clicked on connect, I went home again, and I've got, as you can see, a Wi Fi connection now, and it is working. Uh, so, what you do once you've got your Wi Fi connection is go back into system settings, scroll to accounts, and you're going to want to add your Google account um, to your device. I'll just add it here. Okay, and uh, this is just to install apps, I'm not going to bother with the Google Apps at the minute. Um, and that's the account added. And now you can go into the modified market that I, I have installed um, on this ROM. And as, it's, as you can see it's the latest version and you can download any apps and etc. Uh, there we go, we're fine. Uh, so that's the installation guys, if you have any problems just comment in the form or in the section below, sorry. Um, and on YouTube, thanks for watching. Please like this video if it helped you, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.